Hello everyone, this is Spliced, and today I'm going to be comparing the Oni Scorpion and the Hannibal Scorpion. A lot of you have been saying that the Hannibal Scorpion is better, while a lot of you have been saying that the Oni Scorpion is better. And today I'm going to be breaking both of them down and telling you my opinion which I think is better. I've been using both vehicles well over 300 times each, so I have a good grasp on um, both of these vehicles. I've used them in every situation I could and um, I'm going to tell you guys the strengths and weaknesses of both of these vehicles. So first I'm going to talk about the Oni Scorpion. Uh, so this is a 7 wreck legendary tank and the benefits of it is that uh, what it differentiates from the original tanks is that it has twice as fast shooting speed meaning the travel distance of the shell is twice as fast and it reloads twice as fast. This can cause some serious kill streaks and multi kills to happen in a short amount of time. Um, this tank dominates the field when it comes to boss killing. It absolutely destroys every single boss in the game. Um, however, since it's a tank, it is a slow moving vehicle. It's really big, so it's very easy to take down. However, it does have a lot of armor, so if you are careful with it, you can take a lot of hits with it if you're doing the right thing with it. This vehicle, um, I really enjoy it, but since it is a ground tank vehicle, and those are the two things that are the least best things that could be in the game, tank being slow and uh, ground being susceptible to active camo, I didn't really uh, give this vehicle too much thought at the time but um, over time I did grow to like it. As long as you have some support willing to defend you, you can get some seriously high kills, possibly in the hundreds even, because of how fast and how quickly this thing can destroy. Now the downside to the Oni Scorpion is that um, despite the shell being extremely quick, uh, sometimes it does not explode. And I know that this is an intentional thing um, because if you shoot the ground at an angle, at a certain angle, and also if it is too close to your tank and there's not enough time for it to travel, it will not explode. Unfortunately for me, that is not a good thing because you need that explosion radius to take down enemies with the tank. That's what makes it thrive so good. Um, as a plus to that though, it does have a penetrating ability, meaning the shells can pierce. It is very powerful in that sense. I was able to get a lot of multi-kills because of that. Um, but that's just like the one downside to its uh, cannon, for, for example. Um, of course all the other scorpion negatives comes with it, but there's not really anything to mention about that. Now moving on to the Hannibal Scorpion. When this vehicle first came out, people have immediately jumped the bandwagon and said that this vehicle is better, and then people were against it as well and said that the Oni Scorpion was better. But the thing that these people uh, are not really putting into account is the two strengths, the two main strengths of these vehicles, and I will be getting to both of them in a second, but right now I'm just going to be talking about the Hannibal Scorpion and talking about why it is uh, good in its own unique way. The armor for the Hannibal Scorpion is about the same as the Oni Scorpion. I haven't noticed anything too different. They both seem to tank uh, a lot of shots really well. Um, the same amount of laser shots, same amount of rail guns, everything seems to be the same with this vehicle in terms of armor, so there's not much to say about that. The movement se speed seems to be about the same, so there's not really anything to say about that either. However, people have been saying that the Hannibal moves faster, but I didn't really notice anything in that. Um, but here's the main strength about this vehicle that I really enjoy, is the fact that it has a Spartan laser turret, and what that means is that um, it's a charge up shot, meaning that when you charge it up and you fire it, it will immediately hit anything you're aiming at at any distance. Um, so the reason why this is so good is because if you're shooting at a long range or if you're shooting at a fast moving target, as soon as you're shooting, aiming right at that enemy, you will kill him immediately. It is a very powerful uh, bonus to this tank and that is the main strength of this tank however the negative side is that it's a charge up ability and it has a regular reload time as the other tanks and that's where the oni scorpion shines is it comes uh, with faster shooting and faster reloading however there is travel time for the oni scorpion and not all the time it will hit directly where you're aiming sometimes it just hits buildings or objects when you're not aiming at them and it's very um, frustrating 
Um, but the Hannibal Scorpion, no matter where you're aiming, it can hit past any object if you're aiming a little bit above it. If there's someone poking their head out, you'll always hit them no matter what. It, won't, it will hit the object, of course, but it will also pass through it, and it will hit the enemy. And that's what's so amazing about the Hannibal Scorpion, in my opinion, um, is that you can hit anyone at any distance, despite having to have a charge-up shot and having a normal reload time. Um, so those are the two major differences between the Hannibal Scorpion and the Oni Scorpion, which both make them thrive in their own unique way. The Oni Scorpion, with its fast reloading and fast travel time shots, can rack up some serious multi-kills in a short amount of time, and the Hannibal Scorpion can get you guaranteed kills at any distance at any time. Also, since the Hannibal Scorpion does not shoot a projectile shell and it's more of a laser, its beam lasts for a short amount of time, allowing you to swipe the cannon and kill multiple enemies right next to each other. So, in conclusion, with both Scorpions being very powerful in their own way, it is really hard to say which one is better. Oni Scorpion being 7 Rex and Hannibal being 8 gives you a sense of reason as to why they cost so much. However, in my personal opinion, I'm going to choose the Hannibal Scorpion, mainly because I like having safe guaranteed kills at any range. Being um, back away from the action um, gives me more comfort than to be closer with the Oni Scorpion. However, the Oni Scorpion is very amazing as well. Don't think that because I'm choosing the Hannibal Scorpion that I believe that it's way better than the Oni Scorpion. The Oni Scorpion is still very, very good in its own way. It can kill things really, really quickly, so if you need that short burst of damage at any point in the game, the Oni Scorpion is definitely the vehicle to choose. But just like anything else, the Hannibal Scorpion is a vehicle that I like to use for a long amount of time, so that's why I'm choosing the Hannibal Scorpion. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.